Hello, and thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Many children go through a stage of being shy and not wanting others to notice them. This might especially occur as they experience new places, such as starting school. In Kumo, The Bashful Cloud, by Toronto, Ontario writer Keo McClare and Montreal, Quebec illustrator Nathalie Dion, we follow along as shy, dreamy Kumo prefers to quietly observe life than, rather than actually take part in any activity. Soft, shy little Kumo is happy to sit back and not get involved, but eventually she's called upon to do what clouds are supposed to do. One day the other clouds are busy and Kumo is required to shade and shower the people and places below. This causes worry. What if people stare and point? But she does her duty and floats along so low that she becomes caught in a tree. This disaster frightens her, but a friendly kite and a strange breeze rescue her. Kumo spends an eventful day seeing and experiencing the world. She sees a noisy building with tall, a noisy city with tall buildings, a quiet lake, rolling hills that she sprinkles with rain, and a tall mountain with an icy glacier. She shelters a man planting petunias and visits a street party. At the street party, she attracts the attention of a small boy who is dreaming while looking up at the clouds. In his mind, Kumo is transformed into many shapes and that makes both Kumo and the boy happy. Kumo realizes it's good to be seen and that she has a good job to do. Finally meeting some cloud friends, she realizes she can be happy even when other clouds are around. When she and her new friend look down on the earth, they see chalk drawings of the cloud shapes dreamt about by the boy. The clouds think the boy has left them love letters and they're happy. The Spare and Simple Words by Keo McClare in this book are in harmony with Nathalie Dion's soft, dreamy illustrations. The softly colored, sometimes barely visible face of Kumo will delight a shy child and the life of this shy cloud will make both adult and child readers want to spend some quiet time outside on the grass looking up at the clouds. The book was published by Tundra Books of Penguin Random House out Canada. This very popular book is found in bookstores and on the publisher's website and on Amazon from the links I've placed in the comments section below. Thank you for so, so much for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte, and remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.